All right, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to add a pop-up. So if you click on an extension, they usually pop up with something. Um, but ours, let's just pin it. As we can see, doesn't there's no pop-up. So to add a pop-up, we simply... So to add a pop-up, we simply go to manifest.json and then we write action. So when we click it, will be the action. And default default pop-up. And then we simply link a HTML file. So let's create a HTML file real quick. So pop-up folder and then in the folder pop up dot html so pop up folder and then pop up dot html and inside this let's just make a quick i don't know um we don't like youtube shorts and now when we reload our extension There we go. We don't like YouTube Shorts. And if you want, like you can style this however you like. Uh, let's just make a CSS file real quick. Pop up that CSS. And let's make the body a bit bigger. So maybe width, let's say 300 pixels and height 350 pixels. And let's link the style sheet. So it's just like normal HTML and CSS. You can also add scripts um, however you like. And this you don't have to reload every time because every time you click it, it loads um, the HTML. So if I write something here and click it again, it will simply update. Um, yeah, so let's, let's just add a quick script um, and let's just console log something. It's a new file popup.js. Let's link it in the end of the body script popup.js. Let's just console log. This is a pop up. All right, so now when we click it, it actually doesn't go in this log and it doesn't go in this log. Instead, it goes in, if you go inspect, and then here, this is a pop-up. Um, and unfortunately, every time we close that, the log will also close. So it's kind of hard if you're trying to debug something in here. And that's why I'll show you in the next episode how to do it with messaging instead. All right, welcome back, guys. This time we're going to go through how to set up messaging inside, um, in like Chrome messaging. How? All right, welcome back, guys. This time we're going to go through how to set up Chrome messaging. So messaging is basically just sending a message between, for example, the service worker and the content script, or the content script and the uh, pop-up. You know, we can send them anywhere. Basically, it just broadcasts to the entire Chrome ecosystem um, a message. So let's add a little button in the pop-up that will send a message. So button, let's give it an ID of message button. And then just click me. And then in the pop-up.js, we'll just do uh, Document dot get element by ID. What do we name it? I already forgot. Message button. Message button dot on click. Um, and then to send a message. I forgot how to send a message. Fucking hell. <laughs> um,
All right, so to send a message, we simply write Chrome dot runtime dot send message. And here we pass a, a message object. So it can be like a message, hello, hello. And then we want to receive this message somewhere. So let's do it in the background script. And to receive a message, we simply write Chrome the runtime on message at listener and then um, so request and then in here we write what we want to do so request dot should be dot message so request is just the same object so request dot message hello so let's just console log uh, the message. Console the log request dot message. And let's go back there and open our little service log like that. Click me. Hello, 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 hello. Perfect. So um, a use case for this, which I think is so useful for debugging, is just creating a um, something like this. It's like if request um, dot log, then we just console log it. So basically, you can use uh, the background scripts log for everything, so you don't have to like. You know, I showed you how annoying it would be to like go to this thing's log every time. Like every time you have to have to um, what's it called? Fuck. So I showed you how annoying it would be to use like this thing's log because you'd have to like check it uh, every time you close it. It would close. Um, which is not optimal in my opinion. So let's just log everything in this service worker console because it doesn't close every time. And how do we do that? Well, simply we do a request and then request.log, then just log. Request.log. And let's just make one for dir and for table also. So and then table so now we can simply from the pop-up let's just make a um, object sorry um, service const service equals to and then you just have log um, string then send a message, and then you just log the string like that. And then we make one for, um, one for there. And one for table. So now we can console log anything we want. We can console.log hello uh, console.table I don't know, let's make a little object um, or a list actually. So hi there mate and let's console dot there a object that has test testing and number three all right let's see if it works now time we open 
this. We should have gotten all of those, but we didn't. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, we didn't do console. We got, still did. Uh, or st we did still did console. We didn't do service, which we were supposed to do. All right, now let me reload it and then open. And then we got an error. Uh huh. There we go. Here we go. So we got logged. Hello. Array. Wait, did it only logged array? Um, it should table the array. Uh, okay. Yeah, that does not make sense to me. Hmm. console.table array hi there Okay, cool. All right, so now if we reload our extension, we should see. All right, so now if we reload our extension, 
we should see yeah so it logs a low makes a table of that and makes a tier of that so uh, in my opinion it's just so much easier just being able to do um service dot whatever you want to do uh rather than like having to console log it and like being in that little console log or having to like send the whole message every time um yeah so there's a little tip for you all right see you guys in the next episode